Okay. Good morning, students. So last class we the discussed uh, the topic of, is friction. So the types of friction, I Newton second law, okay, etc. Some problems also discussed in last class. Now today, so discuss the another topic <coughs> and the shock absorbers. Why are you use the shock absorbers in a bikes and motorcycle cars, etc. Okay, so why is the function of the shock absorbers are used in a motorcycles and cars? Now, first of all, already we know that <coughs> that is. So, what is the? So, what is the impulse force and what is the impulse? So, impulse force or impulse is nothing but the very large amount of the force. Very large amount of the force applied on a body in short interval of time. In a short interval of time he is called as a impulse. He is called as a impulse. <coughs> okay, got it. Now, so so impulse force. Now the shock absorbs. So the vehicles or bikes and scooters are traveling uneven roads. Uneven roads. So some jets applied on a vehicle. On so driver. Now the impulse force will be reduced. Okay, so by using the shock absorbs in a motor cars or vehicles. Okay, got it. Now, so here the shock absorbs using the in a cars and vehicles. Okay, <coughs> vehicles by depending on the function. The interval of time. Okay, the time period of the function increased the frictional force, that is the force. Okay, that is nothing but M, which force will be applied, that is called as a um, already. So, we know that. So, impulse force. Okay, the impulse force is reduced, the time function increased. The time function increased. So, by using the shock absorbs. So, vehicles, that is nothing but, so the now we are uh, uh, traveling uneven roads, the jerks will be applied. That means uh, the time period will be increased, the jerk is. Uh, Okay, or jerk or impulse force reduced by using the shock absorbs. So shock absorbs is main function. Shock absorbs the time of impulse. So the time of impulse, magnitude of the time of impulse that is increased. Okay, so the function that is the uh, impulse force will be reduced. So by using the shock absorbs, okay, by using the shock absorbs in a motorcycle sign cars used. Okay, so now discuss the under chapter, so thermal properties of the matter. Okay, thermal properties of the matter. Thermal properties of matter. Okay, so first of all, now discuss the what is the heat and what is the temperature. <coughs> Okay, what is the heat and what is the temperature? So heat is a form of energy. Heat is a form of energy. Is a transfer. So that is the body to surroundings by virtue of temperature. By virtue of temperature. So is called as a heat. Is a called as a heat. Heat means it is a energy to form of a energy. Is the travel or transfer to the hot body to cool body or body to surroundings? Okay, body to surroundings by virtue of temperature is called as a heat. Okay, and what is the temperature? Temperature is nothing but so hotness or coolness of the okay, so represented the quantity represented is called as a temperature. Okay, so one body is heat or cool. The represented that is the quantity is represented okay that quantity is represented is called as a temperature is called as a temperature so the temperature is measured by using the thermometers okay some scales are used okay some scales are used or generally used Celsius scale and foreign heat scale okay and Kelvin scale also okay so thermometers are used divided Okay, different different types of the scales. Okay, Celsius scale, Fahrenheit scale, and Celsius scale. Now, so discuss the first of all two scales. Okay, 
सेल्सियस के सेल्सियस के एंड फॉर हिट के सेल्सियस के एंड फॉर हिट के वट इज सेल्सियस के एंड हाउ टू डिफरेंट फ्रॉम फॉर हिट के नाउ डिस्कस and what is the celsius scale and the celsius scale is the temperature to measure so that is called as a now taken the upper point and lower point this is called as a upper point this lower point these two points is called as a fixed point upper fixed point lower fixed point okay so this is called as a lower fixed point l okay lower fixed point upper fixed point lpf and upf okay got it so this is called as a ice point this is called as a steam point is also called now celsius scale so first of all lpf lower fixed point is 0 degree c and upper fixed point is taken 100 degree c okay 0 degree c lower fixed point and upper fixed point 100 degrees c the difference between these two fixed scales okay so the interval between these two fixed point is taken or divided into 100 equal parts 100 equal parts got it 100 equal parts so corresponding to the equal difference between the scales is 1 degree c 1 degree c okay the celsius scale will have the lower fixed point is taken 0 degree c and upper fixed point is taken 100 degree c okay these two fixed points is equally divided that is the corresponding to the 100 equal divided parts and so the different between the each part is taken 1 degree c okay 1 degree c temperature got it now taken another scale is foreign heat scale so foreign heat scale is taken so that is called as a lower fixed points and upper fixed point so lower fixed point is taken 32 degree c okay 32 degree 32 foreign heat and upper fixed point 212 foreign heat the interval between these two fixed points is divided that is the 100 equal parts 100 equal parts so that is called as a 100 equal parts now here also like that 100 equal parts divided generally so the measuring the temperature or fever by using the thermometers okay celsius scale thermometers and now using the fahrenheit scale sir, scale and lower fixed point 32 32 fahrenheit and upper fixed point 212 fahrenheit got it so these two equal parts are interval between these two parts divided 100 equal parts and corresponding to the the difference between the each part is taken one for heat one for heat and the difference between these two is from so now consider the celsius scale and fahrenheit scale temperature okay lower fixed point and upper fixed point so lower fixed point 0 and 100 and upper fixed lower fixed point in the fahrenheit 32 and 212 okay got it okay so that is the taken the temperature that is the celsius scale and fahrenheit scale and lower fixed point 0 and upper fixed point 100 32 and 212 so c minus 0 by f minus 32 Is equal hundred minus zero by two one two minus thirty two two one two minus thirty two. Okay, so C by F minus thirty two is equal hundred by two one one eighty. Is taken zero zero cancel five nine zero. Okay, so C by F minus thirty two is equal. 5 by 9 so this is called as a relation between celsius scale and fahrenheit scale celsius scale and fahrenheit scale okay got it so now uh, so discuss the another topic in next class so what is a uh, pendulum clock and generally it will go fast in a winter season okay slow in a summer season why okay so the number of the uh, 
parts are number of the differences are taken discuss in the next class okay got it thank you students